Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, 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 Call Halal La, Yahweh Bashimi Hawa Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, as you see uh, on the video, this uh, rapper, all right, that knows that he is he, that, that he's a Hebrew Israelite. You know, you see him in the tub. And, um, you know, I know that this is through the spirit because uh, I see that he's catching the headline in, in the world of Israel. You know, because a uh, brother, a brother sent me this video yesterday and, you know, said, check out this rapping ass nigga. So I looked at the video and I said, you know, there's another typical Hebrew, well, rapper that knows that he's a Hebrew Israelite. And, um, you know, this morning, you know, I woke up and the first thing I do, I look at a video, get me in the spirit and I, I'm watching a brother from L.A., the head brother out there uh i'm watching his video and you know he's going over uh this guy's dream and, and before i knew it was this guy i was like well damn hold on isn't that the same guy in the video i saw last night so i paused his video and then i went to the video that was sent to me which was this one and i said well damn it's the same dude that's the spirit you know brother uh uh you know, did a beautiful lesson on this, you know, for making no terror to turn to the Lord. You know, and just uh land back in, you know, off the spirit, off his spirit that the Lord put on him. You know, is that, you know, he, yo, this guy right here, he, he just an example, man. Alright. Now, first off, the Lord not dealing with rappers. The Lord not dealing with rappers, alright? And I remember when I was young. My grandmother always used to say, rap is the devil, rap is the devil. And when I was in the world, I used to shake my head like, grandma always tripping, rap is the devil, you know? And and little little did I know, as growing up and being in this truth, first coming in this truth, realizing my grandmother was right. Because rap ain't nothing but a, a profession of lies. Okay, that's it. Okay, these guys are uh, putting on an image of deception as if they this and they're not really that you know they say this but their actions are not that okay it's all uh uh deception so when you know my grandma used to say rap is the devil it is it's, it's a damn lie it is a goddamn lie man and um and if you you guys out there you newly fruit you know men that's coming across and learning that you're a hebrew israelite don't fall into this trap man you know Leave that rap shit in the world. That's something that you want to repent from, you know? Not saying that, you know, rap is a committing a sin, but what happens is when you're a part of that world and you doing your rap thing, you know, that ain't of the Lord. The Lord ain't gonna have us as rappers in the kingdom. You know, kings and, you know, princes, you know, rapping. Especially not the rap that today is, okay? It's demonic. And um, as I was watching um, this video, as I was watching this video, I noticed the lyrics of the video is contrary of being a Hebrew Israelite and serving you and worshiping Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It's clearly contrary. So he used the Hebrew Israelite pitch, okay, which is really our identity because he is an Israelite, you know. He's using the Hebrew Israelite as a pitch, you know, but the words and the tech and the lyrics is contrary of even being a Hebrew Israelite. You know, he's speaking on that. He got pride. You know, you, you're going to die about your respect. You know, you're going to run up on somebody's house and, you know, do this to him. You know, that's the last thing some person to do is disrespect you. Like, what the fuck you talking about? See, leave this rap shit alone, man. And guys like this, you know, hey, it's just an example, man. You know, hopefully, hey, maybe he, uh, uh, I don't know the guy. And it's not to pick on the guy. I don't know, you know, but I just know that what you're doing is wrong and it's a bad vibration. It's just the same thing as these other different camps 
that's making these rap videos and thinking the Lord is with them in they raps. That's all this is fame, man. This is for fame, you know, self glory, man. Vain glory, you know, lovers of themselves, man. You know, Yahweh Shai was, wasn't no rapper, okay? He didn't uh, glorify himself in this negativity. Well, let me say in this this bad light, it's a bad light to being a, a man of the Lord, you know? Now, that goes to say, you know, you know, do we listen to rap music? Yeah, of course brothers do. But the difference is we don't put our spirits into this rap music shit, man. We don't glorify or vibe or push the vibration of this image because this image is really it's part of destroying you Israelites, man. You know, I was telling dude yesterday, man, that this music got these kids fucked up. That's why they out here robbing, stealing, and thinking it's cool, proud to be a nigga. In 2019, which we had it in 2020, you know, it's 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 pride in being a nigga. You know, you, you thought, of, you know, being a nigga was a, pro, a, a proverb, a byword. But nah, they, they embraced it. Now you, they're proud, you know, to be a, a nigga, you know. But um, I would play some of this video. You know, I'm going to play from the beginning and stop. I don't want to play too much because, um, you know, I don't want no strike or whatever. But uh, just the so brothers can see and um, I'll pull a scripture, you know. So this is more like a commentary, you know over the video just wanted to say all that because i know it's through the spirit you know yesterday brother sent me the video then this morning i wake up and i see a, i see the, the head brother out there in la you know watch his shoes and um he um he actually touched uh touched on this guy but from a different angle you know the way the spirit hit him you know he saw he he got notice of this guy because he had came out with a vision you know this this guy uh he came out with um he had a dream you know, of the Lord giving him a vision of the end times, you know. And then I said, you know, well, damn, that's the same guy I saw yesterday in the video. So I compared the faces and then when, when the brother, the brother said, uh, Ray Debris, Debris, mm. I said, oh, yeah, that's him. That's him. Yep. So I'm going to play just a second of this video. Woman coming serving the man. Yeah, we we uh, yeah. That's, that's kingdom status, but it's gonna be on a higher royal level than this. All right. And notice what he said. It's, he says a lot of things he would let slide, but one thing he won't let slide is his respect. Do that sound like a man of the Lord? What are you talking about? That's that's air not knowing the scriptures. See, it's a good thing that the world is waking up. You Israelites out there waking up that you're an Israelite, but you're not actually learning to be an Israelite, a servant of the Lord. You know, everybody's not a prophet. Everybody's not a teacher. That's understandable. But you're supposed to carry yourself in righteousness. You're supposed to speak in righteousness. The scriptures say, um, uh, what God, uh, what man of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right. Now, listen what he's talking about. He said there's one thing. He said there's a lot of things he let slide. But let me let me oh, mock his words. Let me see. Mock his word. Let me play it back. There's one thing you won't let slide. And what's that? Your respect. Well, we're set up here to be humiliated. We're set up here, you know, in captivity. Okay? We're set up here to be embarrassed and, you know, and be looked at as the filth of the world because of our sins and our transgressions against our Father. Okay? Against the Heavenly Father, man. But guess what? The Lord is uplifting us, but we have to get ourselves right. We have to man ourselves in the right way, man. You know, because really... You just trying to play both sides, you know, and you know, something, you know, and some, some of the riches and the knowledge, well, gospel of the Lord and some knowledge, but then you, but then you glorifying the nigga, the nigga, the nigga shit, man. You can't do both, man. You can't do both, man. You know, just knowing this truth don't make, don't, don't make yourself see, don't make you somebody better. 
You're not gonna be saved. Let me say this. Let me say this for uh, you know, newly fruit people who watch and you're learning. You're not gonna be saved just because you know you're an Hebrew Israelite. If you don't carry and and uh and, and follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and righteousness and change your ways, you are gonna be destroyed. You ain't nothing but two thirds, man. Okay, Paul said, "Faith without works is dead." All right, let me play it a little more. can't play no more you know he said he had died by this respect he had killed for it how are you pitching that you're an israelite and you starting off the video being a hebrew israelite but then your lyrics you're a murderer you're a thief you know like that's this is see that's why we we constantly tell you here uh the brothers start with the apostles elders and uh apostles and elders of great millstone and the men on down we tell you man Get away from that rap shit, man. You know, this guy don't, don't, hey, if he see this video, he don't. Maybe he'll correct himself. But if he keep going down this path, you're going to be destroyed. You know, he made this video April 19th, which was this year. You know, and if you go watch the elder out there, the, the leader brother out there, the head brother of the L.A. camp, he actually even go even deeper because he goes to his page. I don't, he goes to his, well, I am on his page. He goes through it because he, uh, the spirit hit him because of a dream that he actually did a video on, you know? And he said that uh, his channel was created back in 2011. So we're in 2019. That's a long ass time, you know? I believe uh, his title of this video is um, uh, uh, Make No Turn and Turn to the Lord, if I'm not mistaken, you know? So let me get a quick precept and I'm in it. I didn't want to make it too long this is amos chapter 5 and uh i start at 18 it says woe unto them that desire the day of the lord to what end is it for you exactly what end is it for him he got dreads you know i don't know what camps he followed uh the brother i was watching his video like i said the elder brother the head brother out there in la he uh made mention that he, he you know he saw a little uh i guess um likes from his video on um he watched IUIC uh, and whoever else, I forgot. But, you know, man, listen, man. If you're going to wake up to this truth, wake up and and, uh, and repent, man. You know, you wake up, not just, it's not, you know, people just want to get that knowledge and feel like they, um, they big and bad, man. Or they know something. You know, Jake good for that shit, man. Especially Jake in the hood, man. Be working out with Jake. And Jake starts spitting wisdom and they think their wisdom is, you know, young look them blood, you know, look, you know, you know, we go back to the originals. We gotta be kings and like man, listen, bro. I know I'm an Israelite, man. Alright, alright. And I know the name of the Lord. You know, then we start talking like that to them. Oh nah, nah, see so you in that, you in that coat. Coat just means the worship. You know? It's Jake. Jake just love to uh just wanna know something and say something, but don't live by it. You know, so it says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Because why? The way that the Lord is coming back is going to be a uh, uh, destruction. OK, it's not light. It's, it's not going to be uh, the Lord coming back as this image in which they uh, imagine him today as they call him so-called Jesus Christ. Right. And uh, really, that goes back to Serapis Christus and Cesare Borgia. But he's not coming back to give a cupcake to homosexuals, you know, and to bake this cake and tell everybody he loved them. He's not coming back that way. The Lord is coming back with vengeance, which he said burning within his heart. So he's coming back in a lion type spirit, which, which is to devour shit. Okay? 
the destroyers, uh, the destroyer of the Gentiles. Okay, what does it say? The lion come up from his thicket. Anyway, it says, um, uh, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. If a man did flee from a lion and a bear, bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Now, when it says, verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him and went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Meaning you're not going to get away with judgment, man. You know, a lot of you guys out there, you hate Great Millstone because you don't like the fact that we point, we, 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 point, we point the finger. You know, we point the finger because... The scriptures tell us to point the fingers all right you know we want that uh like ezekiel we want the blood off our hands you can't say we didn't warn you because that's what we're truly set up for to watch and to warn warn you israelites and it's up to you to take heed all right but you're not going to get away with judgment man that's why hey if, if you that guy you know uh what's his name right you watch this video man you know, you need to repent from that. You need to throw that rap shit out the window, man. And, uh, you know, and, and start, you know, what well, <laughs> shit should have been started. But, you know, and get right with the Lord, man. Because that shit ain't cutting it. That's putting off a bad vibration. And you see, let me see how many hits he got on there. Because this is some carnal shit. 1.4K views, 62 likes, right? Now, let's see what the comments say. See? Kill this, bro. How he kill it? How, 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 how he kill it when his lyrics don't match up being a Hebrew Israelite? You see how Jake's stupid, man? I told you, you fucking rap niggas, man. You rap niggas. I'm telling you, yo, Jake is stupid behind this music, man. And these rap niggas are stupid. These rap niggas are nothing but deception. It's fake. It's lies, man. You know? It's, it, that's why music, That's why rap is so easy Because they ain't saying nothing You can easily talk about wickedness man It's easy to say I'll kill you I'll come to your house I got the strap I got the, the packs All that bullshit It's easy to form that together You know Why is this hot? It's not hot They're not even actually um Listening to the lyrics This is stupid <laughs> You did this <laughs> You said this shit and I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I don't care less about it. I'm just bringing out the fact of why you sell pitching uh, Hebrew Israelite and then you go into this worldly um, as lyrics. You know, you should have just never mentioned about being a Hebrew Israelite and did your damn rap video. If you're going to be in the world, be in the world. Scriptures say he that is filthy, stay filthy. He that is holy, let him be holy. He that is righteous, let him be righteous. But you but you trying to use the fact of what you know. That you, the truth, you know, because it is the truth. We are the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. All right, are he, the real Hebrew Israelites? Okay, but you're using that so that you can push your your music, man. When the Lord is not dealing with this music, and I'm gonna read it. Uh, bear with me. Make this turn. <sighs> All right, back to the scriptures. This is Amos chapter five, and uh, and verse nineteen, which talks about you can't get, you're not going to get away with judgment. All right, because when Jacob's trouble come, you might get away from the sword. You know, you might run away from Esau and hide out. But guess what? You know, beasts. If you run into the field, a beast will eat you, man. Okay, and the Lord got unknown creatures that He's going to unleash. And if that don't get you, and you survive that. Well, guess what? If you're on the soils of North America, you're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. So you're not getting away from judgment. Verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Do you actually think Yahweh Shai would, would uh, vouch and dance and bop his head to this music that you that you spitting? The Lord ain't with this shit. The Lord will condemn this shit, man. You know, it's, it'll be, it'll be uh, some it's whack-ass music, man, to a, a real royal... Uh, king all right it says shall not the day of the lord be darkness and not light even very dark and no brightness in it and you know what pleases the lord and what music you should be singing is the scriptures because this is music you know this what the song the lord want us to sing 
You know, in honest truth, this is the song. The word. This is what the Lord wants us to sing. He don't want to hear that shit. You formulating bullshit. You putting out a bad vibration upon the Hebrew Israelites like we're niggas. You, first off, when you wake up to this knowledge, you are uh, in transformation of repenting from, from, from leaving your old man, which is the nigga, into a brother. And the same thing goes for you women. All right. From being a bitch unto a sister. And it's the way how you manage yourself, man. You know, even when the camera's off, you still have to walk and carry yourself in that way. We're, we're, we're rehearsing righteousness, man. We're not rehearsing wickedness. This is not no game. We're not out here for, well, the, the elect is not out here for vainglory. We're out here to, to see the kingdom. We're out here to usher in Yahweh Shai and may Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have mercy on us so that he'll deliver us, man. This is real serious business, man. You know? So anyway, it says, Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? You know? It says, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your Solomon assemblies. So all of these wicked pagan holidays that you worship under these uh, Greek Roman, uh, uh, Greek Roman, um, uh, and also, you know, going back to Egypt, these deities, these demons, these holidays, these that you like today. Today is actually Halloween. Today is actually Halloween. What they call Halloween, I should say. What they call Halloween. And this is basically a day of worshiping Satan. And I and I and you know that the elites are going to sacrifice today. You know, you got women dressing your children up in, in Halloween. You're going to go trick or treating. You're going to watch a scary movie so you could be scared. You know, you're teaching your children fear. You're not supposed to teach fear. The Lord said he don't give us the spirit of fear. So why would you teach fear? You know, fearing man and fearing spirits and ghosts and things like that. That's demonic, man. That is demonic. And yes, to you it seems light. But no, to the most high, it's a heavy thing. Because you're setting forth a bad vibration. You're teaching fear. You're teaching what? Weakness, man. You're not teaching righteousness, you're teaching lies, man. You're teaching wickedness. So it says, I hate, I despise your feast days. So the Lord is not with you when you together tonight and you holding hands and you're thanking uh, Jesus Christ or whoever you call upon, you know, for the food at the dinner table with you and your family. The Lord is not hearing it, man. He says, I hate, I despise your feast days and I will not smell in your Solomon assemblies. Yeah, when you come together. Because today be a day where family will come together, you know, they'll do their little runs, go to the mall, go down a couple of blocks, go hit them Edomite neighborhoods because they give the most candy. And then they come home and have their dinner and watch a movie together as a family, you know, you know. But the Lord ain't with you, man. It says, though, ye offer me burnt offerings and meat offerings. That's when you're praying upon you praying to a God. You know, when you think you're praying into the true and living God, but instead you're praying into uh, Satan. OK, because it's, if it's not the most high, then it's Satan. OK. It says, uh, though ye offer me burnt offerings and meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. It says, take thou away from me the noise of thou songs. For I will not hear the melody of thy vows. All right. So Lord ain't hearing them, this, the songs in which you're singing. OK, he's not hearing the songs in which you put together. Here you're going to play your church music. You know, you're going to hear some black woman sing and, you know, and think you in the spirit. The Lord said, take away from me the noise of thy songs. You don't want to hear that shit. And, you know, Judah is good for that because, you know, within Judah, which is Yahweh, means what? Yahweh praise, man. You know, Judah's good for praising God. You know, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So that's why that uh, that Negro woman, Negro woman was saying her ass off and, and praises of God, you know. But the Lord ain't hearing that. He said, for I would not hear the melody of thy vows, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Because that's what the Lord want to see. He want to see you point out the bullshit. He want to see you cry out. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. He didn't put us in his captivity for our rest. He put us in his captivity to learn a lesson. And now that the Lord has uh, uh, 
brought back this truth unto us. The scriptures say, um, it was your mind to go astray. Seek the Lord ten times more. So we suppose that, you know, it, uh, scriptures also say the Lord is a jealous power. He's a jealous God. So we, the Lord is looking forward to us acknowledging him once again. Okay. Because why? He pushed us away. What's that? Jeremiah 17. We shall discontinue from my heritage. But now the Lord is looking to, to uh, reconcile with us because it's, it's time. Soon the Lord is going to close the doors. And then your, your works is going to be basically signed and sealed, man. Whether your works will be in wickedness or your works will be in righteousness. And you better believe that the elect is looking for the Lord to, to seal the door, to close the doors tomorrow, man. Because the elect been long, long suffering. The, the elect been, uh, uh, been, been looking forward to the kingdom to come because of their sufferings, man. You know, because of their purification through the fire. You're not waiting on the wicked. We're waiting on the elect to be sealed, man. So it says, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. So that, you know, when you can't, you know, when you going about your daily abouts, you supposed to think different. You supposed to, uh, you know, in sort of way walk different. You know, you supposed to change your bad ways into your into righteous ways. You're supposed to sacrifice, you know. Not just know you're an Israelite and still do what niggas do. Now, what I mean is because, of course, we still watch a little sports. We watch boxing, basketball, brothers do on their leisure time or when they get time or, you know, brothers work out. Brothers, uh, you know, do those things, but brothers not putting their spirit into it, you know. That's not consuming their spirit every day. You're not going to get into a fist fight over no fucking Giants game, you know. Because what's more important is is uh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. At the end of the gate, at the end of the day, that's just a game. And and Yahweh Shai said the fashion of this world gonna pass away. Cause all this shit here is temporal, man. You know? So I'm not trying to sound over righteous, but what I'm what I'm saying is you have to repent. You have to change your ways. You have to put off the old man. You have to put off the old man. And this guy. Damn. Let's see here. Oh. Yeah. It's still living in the old man because he never put it off. Okay? He never put it off. And I know he's not part of a group, but according to uh, the head brother out here in LA, if you watch this video, you know, he, 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 he you know, he, he went into his uh, page and, and, and pulled and, and showed, you know, how he uh, basically this page been around since 2011. So he'd been knowing this truth for a long time. But instead, oh, wait, but instead he's still doing this shit. You know, and it's an example, man, for, uh, for you others not to be, man. Don't be like this, man. This is stupid, man. And then you sell pitching it Hebrew Israelite in the beginning. It's supposed to be a woman. All right. Uh, you know, being holy and and righteous, obedient, and then you a nigga, you know? Like, what type of shit is that? It don't even make sense. Your lyrics don't match you being a Hebrew Israelite. At least, <laughs> I give it to some of these other camps, at least they rapping about, you know, you know, uh, being righteous, even though in a, in a nigga way, you know? <laughs> you know, they you know, Esau fall and the kingdom coming and you know and you gonna be under my feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but this guy, his lyrics is crazy. You're a nigga, you're not a Hebrew, you're not an Israelite. The Lord don't see you as an Israelite because of your manner your manners, your mannerism, you know. You know, look look how many people uh 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 is digging his vibration. This is a bad vibration, and that's on you. This is your works. These are your works, my man. This is your works, man. So that's why we tell you guys, get out of this rap shit. This rap shit is the devil. As my grandmother used to tell me all the time. And she was right. Because this shit is, is a lies. It's a profession of lies. Deception. It's all it is. He's in a hotel. That's all it is. Not his crib. He's in a hotel. He got a little nice spot. And he filmed it in a hotel. It's all bullshit, man. And he got some fresh clothes on, whatever, to show and to make the video and make the video pop. 
sell pitch the Israelite in the beginning, and then boom, here you go. You know, because what? What you pursuing? A rap career in Babylon? You should be fleeing out of Babylon. You know, far away from that bullshit, man. That shouldn't be part of your uh, profession. You know, part of your uh, goals. Your goal should be uh, uh, be toward your how about Shemiah was shy. You know, so that's it. I don't want to keep going on and on. But I hope this lesson will edify edifying. I want to give all praises to your how about Shemiah was shy. But Hashem I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.